Aloha, I'm Kalai Miller, and welcome to this special in-flight edition of Ocean Paddler on Hawaiian Skies. Today, we're gonna to explore a sport that is seeing tremendous growth all over the globe. We're talking, of course, about stand-up paddling. Now, this is a very diverse sport, and people from all sorts of backgrounds are finding ways to have fun and get exercise with this new paddle sport. Whether it's on a river, a lake, the open ocean, or even dropping into monster surf, stand-up paddling is taking the world by storm. Surfing, it's just all about having fun and enjoying the sport, choosing to live a healthy lifestyle. It's so much fun to get a, together with all your friends and just go down the coast. And it's really helped all of my water sports as well. I've noticed all my other sports seem like they went to another level. Stand-up paddling is really awesome. I'm stoked. I mean, it makes you strong. You feel how strong it makes you, and it makes you strong all the way through. You know, conventional prone paddling makes you incredible shoulders and arms but nothing to the leg because we stand for such a short period of time. You go snowboarding or windsurfing or something else, like when you're standing the whole time, then you feel, hey, where's my leg? I need legs. And big wave riding is a lot about legs, <laughs> you know. Hawaiians came here on canoes sailing and also paddling. And the stand-up paddling is really, you know, as far back as just the Waikiki Beach Boys and Duke Anamoku and the Beach Boys used to take their big wooden boards and their canoe paddles and go out there and play for fun kind of thing. You know, it wasn't really until Laird and Dave Kalama that really took it to the next level and, and just playing around using it for fitness. The first time I saw somebody stand-up paddling, it was in Waikiki. And, you know, I would like to say I would use that as an image that was in my brain that triggered my reaction when I did it. They, he was just standing on a board and he had a, a little paddle. It wasn't like he had a big paddle and he was paddling and, and doing what stand-up paddling is now. And with stand-up, you can explore anything. You know, like I had never paddled out here in the back of Kailua before until I got on my stand-up. Uh, lakes, rivers, caves, you know, going into the back of Mokumanu, the islands in the back of Kailua, into caves in Switzerland. I mean, it's just a really bitchin' way to explore places that you wouldn't explore on anything else, or maybe with a canoe or a kayak, but a stand-up gives you a totally different dynamic of what's going on around you than sitting down at water level. And that's really appealing to people. By now, everybody pretty much knows about stand-up and you know how fast it's growing and how great it is for surfing, especially in kind of junky waves. But the flat water side is really, really, really growing around the world. You know, everything started in Hawaii and it's kind of spreading like a virus now everywhere. And that aspect of the sport is really going to be a big part of the future. It's going to bring in the Hawaiian board riding culture everywhere else in the world that never had a chance because they don't have any surf. The best thing is that you can do it anywhere and you can do it with a big crowd or you can do it with your friends, you can talk while you are paddling. It doesn't require waves at all. You can go in pure flat water and just explore. And it's you know rewarding from the first second, which is pretty unique for a board sport for sure. I really enjoy stand-up paddle surfing 
and the multiple disciplines of stand-up paddle because it continually allows me to challenge myself, whether it's surfing Big Sunset Beach, ripping little waves in Waikiki, or paddling across the Molokai Channel, the opportunities are endless. And it's going in different directions. There's the surfing aspect, you know, just making really junky waves good fun. Spots that you wouldn't even normally surf otherwise on a longboard, shortboard, whatever, can be really good fun on a stand-up. There's the big wave aspect, you know, pushing outer reefs and stuff, and that's growing. And then there's just the cross-training, flat water, exercise aspect. It's good fun. Good cross training, keeps you shape for when there's waves. And um, yeah, so it's growing in a lot of different directions. Man, when I started, I was like 12 years old working at uh, Waikiki Beach, under the Waikiki Beach boy who kind of made it cool to do with Bobby Achoy. And you know, the paddle boards are just absolutely feather light boards with the new materials see all the guys just knocking on the door you know so pretty fun pretty good to watch and watch it grow as a sport the fact is is that when people have been stand-up paddling for five or ten years you're going to see that they have as much control if not more especially when good surfers start to do it like they are now with the development of better equipment i mean it, it's a little bit like a flood you're not going to stop it so you better decide where you want to be Robbie Nash has always been a forefront in his sport, made this sport even more popular than it ever thought. So those guys out there pushing their piahi and jaws, that's pretty impressive. And like I said, all those guys are always fine tuning their equipment lighter, stronger, faster. The sport, stand-up paddling, has grown so much over the last, you know, three or four years. And now to have a world tour to really showcase some of the best athletes of the sport is going to be a good thing, especially to show it all over the world, different spots, locations. And we've got French competitors, Australian competitors, so it is pretty global. You need to be part of it. And then to, you know, go all over the world with it will be really good. The future of stand-up paddling in the big waves it will be the pinnacle of manual powered big wave riding because toe surfing really doesn't begin until manual power ends. And now manual power will be able to go a little bit further than conventional gun riding with stand-up paddling. It's just another board to add to our repertoire of you know big wave stuff. So like you know, we've done it on bodyboards, done it on surfboards done it towing in, you know, done it paddling in, and uh, what the heck, might as well do it stand up paddling. And, you know, it's as simple as that. It's a lot of people go, oh, what made you do it? It's kind of like, we're Hawaiian, you know, we're Hawaiian watermen, and it's what we do. You know, what I love to do is be there at the right time, watch the swell, and be out there when the best conditions and the best and the biggest waves. And I just, I think with the evolution of the equipment and, and stuff that's already going on, we're, we're gonna see big wave performances on Santa Paddle that unlike any kind of surfing that we've seen before.
think for people who want to start out, I think the most important thing is, first of all, learn how to surf. It's easy to grab a paddle and balance on a board, but I would definitely suggest people, they're not surfers yet, to learn on a longboard and definitely take the steps up. People see you know, us on doing amazing things on the board, but you gotta remember the knowledge and experience behind it, and also the respect and the, the education behind it, the etiquette. You know, if you're gonna go out, learn how to control your equipment. You know, all the basic stuff prior to even going out and surfing. Just be respectful of others, you know. We do have big boards, we, we do have paddles, and you know, don't be a wave hog. Everyone's out there to have fun, and so as long as everyone respects each other, you know, everyone's gonna have a good time. For me, I, I grew up actually paddling, um, paddling and surfing, but um, my family was more of a paddling family. So it really, for me, linked everything together and brought everything to one. So that's why I kind of really just concentrate kind of on stand-up. I mean, I still love to surf. I paddle out with my shortboard, longboard, bodyboard, canoe, whatever. I and mean, that's what a waterman is about. For me, with stand-up surfing, I mean, I grew up canoe paddling since I was nine and, and surfing for a long time. And so stand-up surfing is pretty much my two biggest loves put into one sport and, it, and it's, it's just very fulfilling. So it seems that stand-up paddling has something to offer for everyone. Well, that's all the time we have for this in-flight edition of Ocean Paddler on Hawaiian Skies. Please enjoy the rest of your flight. I'm Kala'i Miller, and until next time, hoi pa.